<laughs> now you're awake. <laughs> you woke up now. Now when the energy's like, yeah. you leveled up, Dennis. Well, you leveled I... up. <laughs> enough is enough. Quiet on set. And it's like life thing. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> When you're ready, come down. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Bye. And we won't hug. We won't kiss. No. She has her thing hanging, guys. My husband is so embarrassed, and I couldn't oh God, get them done. I was gonna get tips put on, and then I kind of chickened out. You're, do you do close-ups? Do close-ups on her, not me. If you don't do as I say, I hit you with a stick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. Oh gosh, <laughs> please don't. It's like okay, right. Tony Robbins. <laughs> I was a diamond in the rough Thank you for joining me. Today I have the most remarkable creative guest. Her name is Veronica DeSanto and she is the managing partner at Ines DeSanto. I cannot wait for you to see her, talk to her and hear what she's got to say. Thank you Veronica for coming. Thank you for Welcome. having me Marco. We're doing air hugs and air kisses and all that stuff because we're staying safe. Um, as you know, I don't know if you know, but I will brief you as per usual. I'm going to explain what we're doing first and then we're going to jump right into talking because that's what I love to do besides flowers. Um, today we're going to be using these beautiful white colors. We are going to do bridal bouquets. We're going to do two types. We'll do two really short ones and one longer. We're going to do a mini cozy bouquet because I find now um, it's kind of more of the trend and I find the royal family really set it into trend where you hold very small amount of flowers, very dainty, very beautiful. So let's lay them out. I'm going to kind of talk us through the tools as well. We are going to use the Oasis Floral Supply Cutter. I love, it's not sponsored. I love using it because I use a lot of tools. This is one of my faves. We have some scissors here, ribbon, and then we have floral tape, which is also from floral supplies. So we're going to create this beautiful bouquet. It's quite simple to do if you just follow your intuition, because as I say, all of my guests, I believe, and us in general, humans, we're really creative. We just have to tap into it. So we're going to, this is kind of like what I want to note about a color. She has her own, she, did you notice how the flower is a she? Absolutely. Yeah, so she has her own curvature and her own direction. So as long as you take the colors and you layer them and you rotate them and you follow their own intuitive flow and direction, you'll be able to create that beautiful bouquet. So let's start. I feel like you already okay. know what you're doing. Okay. And uh, so let's just start going with that. You have your medium sized color. I have my cut a little bit shorter and uh, just two different styles. That's all. Okay. So, okay. I had this question in mind because sure. I knew you were coming on and I wanted to ask you what, how do you see, I guess, in you know, in Ines and in general, you're a global couturier. How do smaller micro weddings influence the designs or the requests? Where, where do you see this is all going? I think we are seeing a trend when it comes to micro weddings and virtual weddings where we've got more clean, more structured um, gowns. And I think that they can fit into a multitude of settings. Yes. And now we're really forced to make some quick changes and um, yes. perhaps different decisions from traditionally how things ought to be or were. Yes. Now the micro wedding I think is is something that we've had to had to move into simply because of small gatherings. Yes. So we are seeing a little bit more of that clean, that structured, very, you know, uh, tailored look yeah, yeah you find yeah i also want to give you a little tip on the flowers when you hold the flowers if you loosen your grip a okay. little bit and let's say you're starting to create the design and it's you feel that you're stuck in this position yeah you can always look down at it and go from the top and manipulate the flower and rotate it this way or that way so oh, this i love is, that because i always say that the flower has a face right so you're looking at its face 
you want to rotate its face, you can do it from the top if you loosen the grip a bit here. Oh, I love that. So that's a little bit of a hint. Yeah, that's so helpful. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> All, All right. right. Now, okay, so, okay, fine. Let's go with the times. Now we have these mm -hmm. times that we're going through yeah. globally. Yeah. What are some of the maybe unique requests that you got for gowns or different? I think now more than ever, we, we really want to have a memorable wedding, um, a celebration where we can mm -hmm. celebrate this, obviously, this milestone. One of the requests, I think, is how can I wow my guests? The assumption, I think, is that because it's a micro wedding or because it's a virtual wedding that you may not be able to hit all those points. Yes. And I think that it actually allows you to, to really think outside the box and think about things that you would not imagine. I always think about the Quisse gown, which is our new spring 21 gown, mm -hmm. made out of an, a luxurious silk satin, very Ooh. like buttery silk satin. Yes. And it looks like a ball gown. It's It's got these like um, transparent cutouts of the cummerbund. It's a tulip skirt. Wow. And so you're walking down the aisle in this modern ball gown and it's clean. It's chic. I call it the it girl dress. The it girl the dress. The it girl dress. And it think a deep, deep slit. Ooh. Think Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Oh, so I can think that. Yeah. yeah. We can think that and we can imagine that. So. Yeah. So, so unexpected because you almost don't notice until you're quite close to, to the, the bride. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then you see it. So that's well, one of the requests. I, I think with that, that, I almost feel like that request also comes from, and um, I've, I had that thought for a while mm -hmm. that at times where you think that you need to go calmer and maybe not be so out there, I think your emotion, it's very emotional time too, mm -hmm. where besides the fact that a wedding is an emotional time period, where there's all your family and friends and when, when and where else would you have that? Right. And I understand that now, you know, the family might be on Zoom or whatever. Right. Um, but at this time, same as, could, I don't want to compare it to more difficult times, but it is a special time where mm -hmm. the opposite, you would want to go more extra and more unique and more different because you now have the option to do it. Right. You have the reason to do it. You have the ability to do it because nothing holding what? you back. Right, exactly. What's happening there? Are you losing I, some flowers? I, I did <laughs> I was hoping you didn't notice, Marco. No, that's okay. <laughs> just, like, just hold them up, finish okay. it off, yeah. and then hold it in your hand, okay. turn it towards you, and maneuver them how you feel that you, you see fit. Okay. Do you want me to help you a bit? Yes, please. Okay, so like this. Let's see what you would do here. So you would look at their faces. Put them. And you want them... Oh, okay, I thought we wanted them all in one direction. But you do want to kind of like... Got that. Oh, that looks and so And then good. you can hold it and you can manipulate it like okay. however you want it, right? So like that. Very nice. And then you can just continue okay. with that. There we go. Oh, that looks great. So now after that, once you're happy with it, you just would want to tape it. You do okay. have a floral tape beside you. Okay. And you will just hold it with your thumb over here and yep. wrap it. And wrap. All right, let's wrap. Let's wrap it. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, oh, sorry. Ooh. So I know that you guys are showcasing in New York. Yes. Well, we typically showcase in New York, yes. but obviously just like there is a trend for micro weddings yes. and virtual, yes. um, our bridal, our upcoming bridal market will also be virtual. Mm -hmm. So now we will be showing in that in that new way. So that's new. Yes. Just like ha brides have had to adjust and adjust pivot, and, yes. pivot yes. And, and come up with a new way. Yes. Um, so have we. So okay. we're excited. We're working on the fall, winter 2021 collection Perfect. right now. That's what I wanted yeah. to ask. So new yeah. stuff is coming up for you. Oh yeah. And when is that like actually showing? So, so we'll be showing October 5th through the 9th. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll send out an announcement showing how we're going to be presenting. Gorgeous. Yeah. Um, so now let's just level up all of the okay. edges let's right level here. Up. So yeah. Away so we're from never you. cutting. Yeah. So just hold it like this. Okay. Yeah. And cut away. And just straighten them together. So okay. all the same yeah. level like this. Okay. As you can see, I have the micro, small, little kind of bouquet. Colors Ooh. usually come in a very small shape or like that, a much more modern, mod-like 
uh, bouquet, which is what Veronica has here. We're gonna finish it all off with a beautiful grass grain river. So you have the white one, I have the ivory one. We're just gonna wrap where we see the green tape. So we're gonna wrap right over here. Okay. We're gonna hold it. I love the grow grain. Yes. I love the grow grain. We use it inside the dresses because how the gown looks on the inside is just as important as how the gown looks on the outside. And you want to be excited about putting it on and actually admire the inside just as much as the outside. I mean, so. it's such an intimate moment when yeah. the bride puts her dress, um, yeah. you know, while she's getting ready. Everything is just so. Uh, it's the day I always say to my clients is the longest and the shortest day of your life mm -hmm. and you literally have to enjoy it as much as you can yeah um, and you're just going to wrap it up like that and that's why details are important yes and exactly. those details that's what you're talking about the yeah. inside of a dress Absolutely. anything that's for example monogrammed or anything that's personable like that is always going to make its mark exactly so we're going to take the pins and we're going to pin it up never through yep we're gonna pin it up because at the top you have the most amount of volume, so the pin will never touch fingers. We'll never hold a bouquet like this. We're always holding it this way, so the pins will always go up. Got it. That's such a good tip, actually. Thank you. And do you remember those times when we had the, the pins going all the way down, kind yep. of like the back of the dress? Yeah. Yeah, but now it's a little bit, we're doing it more like a tuxedo style. Yes. There we go, beautiful. Right. So here we are. We have these two beautiful bouquets. This is, can actually be a bridesmaid bouquet or it can be a smaller bouquet for a, br a bride, a uh, very long mod, kind of a calla lily bouquet. That's Veronica did. She's hot, you know, she's available <laughs> for hire if you need her. Thank uh -huh. you. But Thank where you. can we find you? Where our beautiful viewers can find you, Ines, on social? So you can find the Ines DeSanto collection on InezDeSanto.com. You can also add Ines DeSanto Instagram, also Pinterest. You can see a variety of our gowns and styles. So do check it out if you're planning to walk down the aisle. And I just wanted to note that this beautiful gown um, is by Ines and uh, it's absolutely stunning. And like we were saying, these are the times to go over the top. That's what I believe. And from this note, I want to thank you. If you want to see more of our beautiful floral um, designs, uh, floral inspiration and different arrangements and different ideas, please subscribe. And I will see you next time, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.